I went out for a quick 2k run today, made a berry smoothie, and sat down on the couch for my daily Twitter slash Reddit scroll. I was pretty shocked to say the least to read that sexism is yet again still presenting itself as a problem. After the overwhelmingly positive response to LSB signing Sun Dang Moo, this is a pretty disappointing story to say the least. Also, before I jump into today's story, I just want to say holy shit we're almost at 40k. If you've ever watched my videos or even interacted with one, I can't say thank you enough. This is another step in my 2023 goal of hitting 100k, so if you aren't subscribed already, let's take the next step together. Anyway, in EUS Solo Queue yesterday, the AD carry for G2's female team Hell Keltus was at the brunt of sexist flame from the French team MS Company's jungler Nikolai. G2 Keltus then went on to publicly call out Nikolai in a tweet that was seen more than 2.6 million times. The actual story itself is pretty straightforward as we read from this Reddit user who breaks it down succinctly after watching it live on stream. As Drutut was in the game, I assume it was from his POV. Fire Devil 11 says, Blue team invades level 1 with Thresh. Thresh flashes and hooks Zeri, which is Keltus. Zeri tries to sidestep it and fails. Maokai, who is Nikolai, then proceeds to flame her in team chat and multiple times in all chat. Now you might be wondering, why was he kicked for flaming? Everyone flames. Yes, but he knew she was a girl and targeted that aspect of her. Not the play or skill, her not insta-flashing the hook or whatever, just the fact that she was a girl. If it was any pro male ADC, he would never go on to flame him for being a boy. It was 17 year old Nikolai's reaction to getting called out is where it gets spicy. User Harlot of Paris breaks it down nicely with a brief timeline. Keltus calls Nikolai out as seen in the screenshot. Nikolai doubles down saying that the quote unquote snowflakes offended should basically touch grass followed by him locking his Twitter account. MS Company immediately kicks him and apologizes. I'm just gonna add in what MS Company said in their apology on Twitter here. This wasn't in the Harlot of Paris' initial post. MS Company says, following the recent remarks made by our jungler Nikolai, MS would like to publicly apologize to Keltus, G2 Esports and to all those affected by these unacceptable remarks. Our team puts forward values and principles that are the opposite of this kind of behavior. These Words have no place in esports or our society. This is why the entire staff of MS Company has decided to permanently and immediately lay off the player. We reiterate our sincere apologies and we thank you for understanding. The esports pokey sheep LAC Wooloo chimed in under their apology with a simple quote unquote respect. I just want to highlight that MS Company said permanently. If you're getting laid off from an esports org permanently, there's no way any other org would take you either. I don't even think I've seen anyone else get fired permanently. Anyway, continuing on with Harlot's post, Nikolai reinstates his Twitter account and quadruple double downs, betraying himself as a victim, how his former teammates turned their backs on him, how he made MS Company famous, and how Kaltus enjoys her five minutes of fame. All these are paraphrased due to him deleting his account and so on. He posts an apology and after being called out that someone else wrote it for him multiple times, his tweets were messy, the apology looks too formal for his style, he finally deletes his Twitter. Addition, even LEC Wooloo and Rat IRL were on his ass. Absolute dumpster fire for Nikolai. I found the tweet from Rat responding to the situation. He said, quote unquote, yeah, you're really a victim bro, clown emoji, to a now deleted tweet where Nikolai was feigning ignorance. Before this whole incident with Keltus, Nikolai's Twitter was already pretty controversial, where he mocked someone for having a rainbow flag in their name, the symbol for the broader LGBTQ plus community. He also added his former org and said he gave them good PR. After some digging, I found the few now deleted tweets from Nikolai. One of them is his alleged fake apology, probably written by someone else, and the other is him calling the public snowflakes for having an opinion on the matter. Someone even dug into his liked tweets, and basically everything he had liked proves he doesn't actually believe what he was saying in his apology, even going as far to like a tweet degrading women by at women terrorizer. Nikolai just completed a 100% speedrun to losing your career in all chat. What are your thoughts on the issue? Let me know in the comments below, and for more league content, click the video on your screen. Bye!